Good. Good. How are you? Good. How are you feeling? And you know, close to 100 percent. Are you? Feel good. Feel uh, yeah. I feel really good. Uh, nice to be back out of practice, running around. Yeah. Uh, throwing the ball around, taking our drops, uh, reading the defenses, all those things. So, uh, feel ready to go for the game for sure. Um, you know, obviously we'll assess after this, but sure. I don't. I don't so what was last week like? Did they have to really hold you back, uh, or did you know you needed? Yeah, it's that? tough. You know, again, we. Uh, I think we have a really uh, good rapport. You know, Al and I, but that kind of stuff. And then, and Osh was kind of in my ear the rest of the week as well. So, um, just something that we came to the conclusion about. You know, I think uh, you know, Drew did a really good job, obviously stepping in and, and playing great football. So, um, there's no concern there. So. Just kind of precautionary. A competitor in you, though. How hard is it to miss? Yeah, it's tough. You never, you never want to miss, right? Uh, you don't, you don't get a lot of opportunities in this game, and uh, so you, you cherish every one. And, and, and obviously, when you're not able to go, it's, it's tough. Yeah. What was Can going through your mind in uh, Edmonton when you're leaving the game? You guys are down 22 nothing. Obviously, that's kind of like a, a nightmare situation, I'd imagine. At the moment, just I uh, hope you know everything's okay. You know. If, uh, for myself in the moment, you know, leaving. And then uh, obviously after we, you know, went back and did a lot of tests, you know, trying to figure out what we're doing, uh, how we're doing offensively, you know, what the outlook looks like. And then at halftime, uh, you know, trying to rally the guys a little bit. But, uh, yeah, in the moment it was tough for sure. You were, you were down for quite a while on that hit and I'll kind of asking an obvious question, but, like, how much did that, did that hit uh, hurt exactly? Or how painful was that? It didn't feel great. Yeah. Zach, can it be a, a positive thing? to take that week to be more of a coach, be more of an advisor, you know, maybe injury recovery aside, but also give yourself a, a physical bye week to, to, to rest some other things. You know, you know, our offensive line has done a really good job all season long. Um, so physically, I've, I felt pretty good the entire season. Um, it's, you know, it's, I don't want to say it's nice, but, you know, stepping back and seeing it from a different vantage point yeah. um, is interesting. But, uh, you know, when you've played a lot of football and, you understand that those reps, how valuable they are. You never want to miss time. So. Any thoughts on the hit? I know it wasn't penalized, and then you guys challenged it. it. Didn't look good to a lot of people either. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I doubt it was something intentional. Um, at the same time, protecting the quarterbacks never really been a priority in this league. So, Zach, how did you handle during the game last week? Like when Drew came off after every possession, were you talking to him, or how did you handle that? And let him do his thing, but also want to maybe give him some advice. Yeah, I've always said to Drew and, and any you know quarterbacks that I've worked with, you know, especially if I've been the starter in that instance, you know, I'm kind of a just leave me alone kind of person during the game and uh, kind of figure things out on my own, talk to who I need to talk to. Um, like kind of, that sounds bad to say, but I, I told Drew and I told Dakota the same thing. Like, hey, if you need me, if you, if you want to talk to me about something, if you want me to watch for something, and I told you know. Uh, Bergs and Marty and Buck, same thing. If there's something you need me to look for, I'll look for that kind of stuff. Um, but with the guy who's on the field, I try to stay as hands off as possible, unless he, you know, wants me talking to him. Which, uh, you know, Drew and I and Dakota and I have a really good relationship, so it's it's easy to do that with those guys. And, and again, I'm not saying that they don't for me during the games. It's just a lot of times I want to come off and just kind of take a deep breath and you know think back to what happened on that series. But, uh, you know, I tried to. You try to give advice. You try to point things out without overwhelming uh, people. And I think Drew has a you know a really good grasp of what we do, obviously, and um, he does has a really good understanding of what defenses are doing as well. And, and he'll continue to grow in that aspect of the more reps that he gets. Um, so again, I, I'm never trying to crowd and uh, you know, clutter his mind. So I try to stay hands off unless he really wants to. Unless there's something pertinent that I really want to say say to him, or he asks. Do you have any theory why? Sorry, sorry, John. Do you have any theory why as, to, why as to why so many quarterbacks have gone hurt this year? I think every team, but one or two, have had you know their starter go down at some point. I mean, I feel like every league we've been, I've been this, every every year I've been in this league, it's happened. So, mm. Is that, oh, sorry, in some ways, uh, you feel that Drew's brand, Drew's um, Drew start against Calgary was even more significant in that he had to, he had tape. That there was that they were able to adjust to it, that they were able to game plan for him, and that he still managed to gut out and grind that win. Yeah, I thought he did a great job. You know, obviously, like you said, you know, getting a week to prepare for a guy, uh, it's a different animal than just you know being thrown in there. Um, you know, and, and Calgary does a really good job all the time game planning. I, I thought uh, you know it's, it's definitely valuable for him to go into a whole week knowing that he's going to be that person to play. And uh, I thought he did a really good job. Early you know, thoughts on the Alouettes and, and their defense and what they bring? They're real physical. Uh, you know. 
Thor's defense is always are very physical. Uh, they get after the pass, or different looks up front. Um, they're able to rush for, um, you know, with Lemon being there now and, and, and all those guys, they do a really good job up front. Um, they're fast in the back end, they rally. Uh, and again, they're gonna give you multiple looks and, and you know, keep hitting you. So it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be a, a good football game, a physical football game. And uh, we're gonna have to play at a high level to win. What can you say about a guy like Sean Lemon that just seems to find ways to produce year after year after year? I mean, he's, he's, he's a great player. I mean, the numbers don't lie. He does it, you know, he's somewhere up there, I guess, in the top 10 in sacks. Um, you know, obviously he seems like a great teammate too. So um, he's done a great job. He's an unbelievable pass rusher. I don't want to compliment him too much though. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, based on the first game with Montreal, do you feel you're prepared if there's a two hour rain delay this time? <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> We're home though. We might have like a deck of cards here and stuff. We'll be, we'll be ready. <laughs> what was that like? Uh, it was good. You know, again, it was like uh, I think everybody thinks that we're sitting around, you know, drawing up X's and O's and stuff. You know, I think I think James Stanley was on the computer looking at the next week's film, tr starting to break that down. So I remember I walked over there and I was talking to him about what Calgary does, and then I think Dakota and I were talking about where you can get like some kind of lag of and whiskey in the states or like, the cheapest. You know, it's, it's just stuff like that. So because it's Scotch, it's Scotch. Yeah. So instead of football junkies, you become scotch junkies, and yeah, I mean, just, you, or whatever junkies. Yeah, you lead. Yeah. I mean, the lead up is is anxiety filled enough, right? And then to not be able to go out there, it's like, yeah. you know. So kind of got to depressed in some way, and we just talked about other things, made fun of Stanley, that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.